All right, we're just awaiting the ring walks now for our main event. Alexis Angulo taking on Edgar Berlanga. Edgar Berlanga, as we look at some highlights here from his last fight, started his professional career with 16 straight tonight against what some say is his toughest opposition to date. And Alexis Angulo, that man right there, who's only two losses, but still a very rugged, come forward, experienced fighter who was going to smother Edgar Berlanga. Both guys coming in at six foot one, and uh, you see there that Angulo was a pound and a half over. There's that contagious smile of Edgar, the chosen one, Berlanga, 19-0, 16 knockouts. Here's Marchino. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome inside the Hulu Theater. And to everyone watching on ESPN, this is the main event! Expect the clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. This crowd is anxious and ready to go for this main event, as are we. Scheduled for 10 rounds in the super middleweight division. We mentioned the knockout streak. We mentioned him going the distance in his last three fights. Alexis Angulo is a two-time world title challenger. Berlanga would like to get him out of here and get this crowd behind him early. But you see big power in that right hand when he throws it, hits off the gloves of Berlanga. Ooh, there's a good shot landed with the left hand from Berlanga here in round one. Edgar's just so explosive where he throws that one, two. Really important when I spoke to Kay Karoma with Berlanga, be patient, use your jab, and box. Don't get drawn in. Yeah, and Gula likes to fight on the inside, be rough, be physical. Which apparently was kind of lingering, still bothering him in training camp leading up to that fight. Looks good tonight. He's flashing a very sharp jab. And then he's being explosive with his power shot. Oh, a little uppercut got in there from Angulo. He shot it just three times there in a row. The first one got in. Edgar's just got to be careful of Angulo's right hand, because sometimes when he throws, he drops his left hand a little bit low. Ooh, good feint there. Really nice feint from Belinda. Round three scheduled for 10. You know, he, he, he can't beat the footwork or the hand speed or the jab of Berlanga, but he's doing a good job of walking him down. That shot using more head movement. A little bit of blood coming out from the nose now. Yeah, coming out of that left nostril of Berlanga. Clearing that up, but if you're Angulo, it's a good sign as he tries to rough him up here in the corner. He, you can even see the way that he's fighting tonight. The game plan is set. They know what the strategy is, and, and Edgar is executing. Of emphasis in training camp because he's thrown that time and time again, trying to catch Berlanga's chin over his foot with the left hand and dipping those shots. But then Angulo comes again with the uppercut. Ooh, good uppercut there. Where is he? He needs to pay attention, protect himself at all times. I'm not sure where Berlanga was looking at. So. Oh. oh, and he got caught with that uppercut right there uppercut again. in the corner. Well, you know what? He's also, Chris, not using his jab as much this round either. He was moving around, but he was popping the jab out a lot more. Not as consistent with it. No. Ooh, a good right hand there. Rocked Angulo. I wanted to see what happened in that moment that Berlanga tried to say something to the referee. I just don't know what in that moment he was complaining about. Back to the jab goes Berlanga. There is a body shot with the lead left hand. Mm, nice popping jab from Berlanga. Trying to shoot a right uppercut of his own is Berlanga when he had him here against the ropes, but not a lot going on there. Spanish spoken in these two corners tonight. 
not just pot shotting. When he boxes from the outside, he's very effective. He uses that jab well. Oh, got caught a bit there with the right hand, and then finally got out of distance, but then comes with the left as Angulo. There's that jab. I think Belonga knows he doesn't want to get caught in that corner again. Smart move. A strong jab there to finish that round. Hall of Famer, Miguel Cotto. Puerto Rican or not, that's an amazing award. Um, I gave the fourth round to Angulo on the strength of those uppercuts on the inside. Because um, he wants to punch with you, throw punches in the middle, catch you like that. Oh, and he caught him with the left hand too on the inside. You know, winning on a jab is one thing, but if you've got more tools in the box, you might as well use them. Left hand, that fixed bicep is doing pretty good. He did a nice job there defensively getting out of the way. And it looks as though Berlanga kind of opened his mouth, like maybe he wanted to take a bite. Like, are you kidding me right that's, now? That's a bite. <laughs> that's not okay. It's not like he's bringing something he didn't see. And there's the uppercut Ooh. once again, twice with the right hand. Ooh. And shot that left hand to the body. Mm. And he tried there to land that Over. overhand right. Oh, caught, caught in there with the shot. There's the uppercut, like almost just stuck it on. Eighth round, he's got two more rounds to work here. Looking to defend his NABO title. Tape on you know the book on him, it's just, this is like you said, fight. much of the same. Down to the body with the left hand, goes in and go up top, Berlanga with the left. Upper from Berlanga. Perhaps looking to close the show here, but Angulo says not so fast with that left hand. Oh, we got the ball. Oh, and uh, with the left uppercut. He landed a handful of those uppercuts strong, so he wants him to get back to what he was doing earlier in the fight. You know, this is the tenth and final round. Berlanga's got, you know, just about two minutes to work here, and that's why I think you're see seeing him move back around the outside now. And Berlanga's had his mouth open for the last several rounds while boxing. Yeah, they're running out of time. Yeah. They need to build on the round they had. He took some big shots from a guy who was a, a, a good puncher. Oh, and caught him with one right there. Short left hand. Feels like he's got the legs of Angulo wobbled. Got a little cut by his right eye. Oh! He got caught with a the shot right. there, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And a little extra curriculars here oh, at the yo, end yo, of the yo, fight. Yo, yo. After 10 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the Bud Light celebration decision. For your winner by unanimous decision,